Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna and today I want to show you how to solve this $32,000 question from who wants to be a millionaire. If you add the numbers from 1 to 100, the result is A, B, C or D. What would be your first guess? I mean they want us to add the numbers from 1 to 100, so it would be 1 plus 2 plus 3, plus all these positive integers till we get to 98, 99 and finally 100. If you had enough time to add these numbers, you could just start at the beginning and do 1 plus 2 equals 3, plus 3 equals 6 and so on. But of course, when you're sitting in this seat on this TV show, you don't have this time. So there has to be a faster way. And there is one. And the first person who found out about that was the mathematician Karl Friedrich Gauss. There is a story about him when he was in elementary school and his teacher gave this problem to the class. And the teacher thought, yeah, it will take some time till they find the result, so I will have some time for myself now. But Karl Friedrich Gauss was pretty smart, so he solved this problem pretty fast. And he did the following. Instead of adding the numbers here at the beginning, he just added the smallest number and the largest number. So 1 plus 100, which equals 101. And then he added the second smallest number and the second largest number, so 2 plus 99, which equals 101 could be a pattern 3 plus 98 equals 101. Okay, so let's write this down. If we add the smallest number to the largest number, we get 101. Then we do the 2 and the 99 and we get 101. And so on. Um, what would be our last pair we had here? So we have 100 numbers, so the middle of this would be the 50. So we can add the 50 and the 51 and get 101 as well. So we now have all our numbers, right, from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 till 50, then we have 51 and up to 100. So if we add all these numbers, we always get 101. And how many times do we get 101? Well, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 50 times. So we just have to multiply 50 by 101 to get our results. It's pretty fast, right? So how can we calculate this? We can first uh, calculate 50 times 100, which equals 5000. And then we have to add 50 times just this 1, which would be 50. So these two together would be 5050. And this is answer D. So Gauss was pretty fast in solving this, in elementary school by the way, uh, but it was not enough for him to just add the numbers from 1 to 100. He wanted to have a general rule for adding the first n positive integers. So if you add 1, 2, 3 till a natural number n, he came up with a formula that is also called the little Gauss formula. And it says that the result is n times n plus 1 over 2. So let's just check if for the sum that we ha just had, so for the sum of the first 100 positive integers, if this formula works, it should. Spoiler alert. So for our n, n in our case is 100. So we write the 100 in here. We multiply it by 100 plus 1 and then we divide it by 2. Let's simplify this. 100 divided by 2 equals 50. So we have 50 times 101 Oh, what a surprise. This is exactly what we had. And we already know that this is 5050. And of course, his formula worked here as well. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know how you solved this problem and if you would have won the $32,000. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care.